Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to answer a question or address a question from the recent town hall where Aggie's speaking to Soulbound cards. He's going to res respond to a question about how they should be implemented and he's going to give us clear direction on how they're expecting to implement them. And so I think this is going to be worth knowing because there's lots of, I think at this moment, confusion about what it's going to look like. They did tell us in this town hall, we're going to get 40 plus new Soulbound reward cards. We're going to see the elimination of all existing reward cards. If you want to hear my thoughts on what that would mean for price appreciation for some of the reward cards that are currently being issued, check out the video above. But if you want to better understand Soulbound reward cards as they're going to be issued and how they're going to be handled, check out this video. Let's listen to Aggie say what he has to say. And I want to finish with some comments. Soulbound cards. I heard an idea from the community that to mint unlock the Soulbound card should burn DEC. I think this is really amazing idea to put real value uh, to the card itself. And I don't think we need to wait until the supply ends. Please consider. So what, what I'm advocating for and what Matt, Matt Matt's advocating for one thing and I'm advocating for another. Matt's saying, hey, look, I, we think it's really important that there's no way to get these other than by playing. So we want it during the time that the that those Soulbound reward cards are live in their edition, that there's no other way to get them than by playing. You can't buy them, you can't rent them, you can't transfer them. It, it's just, they're Soulbound. But then when they go out of print, what I think would be really awesome is that, you know, that the, they come with zero deck burn, but in order to make them transferable, you have to put DEC into them. You have to stake DEC on the cards, and that's what would make them transferable and all that, but only after the print run is over. Uh, and then there would be like a new set of Soulbound reward cards. So it's this neat mix of like, oh, if you want these things, you actually have to be in this and participating. And then if you want to be able to transfer them, sell them or do whatever, you actually have to stake the DEC yourself. And, um, you know, because the cards were free to you, you know, I think that's like a really neat compromise and in, in position. So he didn't specifically address what Matt feels and what he feels. He, he To me, that sounded like this is where we're landing. And you have to kind of glean from having heard what you heard, whether you think I'm right about that. But I, it's my interpretation of what he just said, that this is what they're, they, he feels they're going to land on. That's my interpretation of what he And let's unpack what he said. He goes... We, it's really important that they not be transferable. It's really important that you need to earn them. It's really important that um, at least for a period of during their issuance that they not be flexible about that at all. And I feel strongly in agreement with that. I like if Soulbound reward cards are going to exist and if they, they're going to serve a purpose of one, attracting your, your investment of time and attention, and of two, deterring or dissuading or disincentivizing bot farms from really profiting or exploiting the reward system, I think they need to be soul bound for a period of time. And that period of time would be the issuance in my mind. I don't like this idea of soul bound with a big asterisk. We could just go ahead and throw DEC at it and make them not soul bound. Even though that theoretically addresses some of the DEC concerns, because we say to ourselves, well, we want to get DEC back to peg. How about give me a burn mechanic wrapped up in the soul bound cards so that I have this access way to unlock it and profit well who's going to take advantage of that bot farms i just don't i feel as though that really undermines the entire intent and maybe the entire goal because again we want to make the game enjoyable and rewarding for players who play it and who and we want to invite you to spend more and more of your time here and i think sold on reward cards do that you need to play to earn you need to play and commit to playing regularly in order to receive those reward cards so we're going to get more of your time and then it represents a reward because it's going to it's going to enable you to win more when you get those cards. And I think that should be an incentive to real players. But it it also it could be theoretically an incentive to bots. It could be. They might be patient and wait for 3 months for the card to go out of issuance or 6 months or whatever it is and then realize long term they could benefit. But I don't think that's the mentality of the bot farmers. I believe that this long term view is not their vision. I think it's like more short term. They need to see the profits on a weekly, daily basis. And so I think this is going to disincentive bot farms. And I think it's going to encourage more and more commitment and time and attention from real world players. So I like cards being sold out. I don't want to see some sort of asterisk, some yeah, but some little, you know, backdoor to being able to unlock them for the period of time that they're being issued. And I think maybe we do some sort of time sensitivity. Like I think it makes a lot of sense if we do like a six month issuance window, three month issuance or a nine month issuance window. 
and then the you know you could you were talking about doing major booster pack issuance for a nine month window and then a three month of nothing and so why can't we do reward cards you know on maybe like a like a similar vision like a similar time sensitivity it's like it's more about the window of time within the year on three months for every three months we get these cards and then the next three months we get these cards and then so on and in doing that you're going to see that the cards become liquid within you know 12 weeks of you having first received them and i think so i think three months is probably too small of a window to be honest but i think it would resolve some of these concerns because people want to see them be liquid well they're going to be able to be liquidated at some point that seems to be clearly the intent they will be movable they will be sellable they will be rentable they will be delegatable but it's not going to be it's very clearly in the vision of the team that it not be while it's currently being issued and from my from my point of view that's so important i've heard criticisms around this idea i've heard if they can't be traded sell delegated then i can't upgrade them and i'm going to be super po'd if i can't get the max level copy of that card uh, while I'm playing in diamond, I want a diamond one. Well, guys, you're doing just fine with in your brawls with like a level one Quora. You're going to do just fine with a level one Lamacron uh, or not Lamacron, Lama, Lama, Lama Tor. That's the new fire. I think it's a reward summoner with the conscript. We, we heard that from the town hall too. So my point is this idea that you got to have max or you can't use it at all. You got to have max or it won't be fun. You got to have max or it's useless. Wrong. Just flat out wrong and i know your heart for perfection especially some of you is going to want you to have that max level copy but that's a part of spending your time and attention in playing more so that you extract more so that you get those reward cards and also recognizing that when they go out of circulation the team is clearly saying there will be some mechanic by which they can be sold or traded or delegated patience in the moment and recognizing that it's going to be beneficial for real players detrimental to bot farms and it still has this long-term path to where you can liquidate and provide financial value to your own yourself and to your account and so i think this is really the best of both worlds i like what's described there i hope that that's implemented as as he's laid out there and i do hope he didn't mention a timeline but i really hope we get some sort of timeline in terms of it's each reward card is out for three months or six or nine. And with that in mind, it wouldn't be like 7.5 million commons of the, of the new reward card. And then we're done. It would be three months and then we're done or five or six or some number, because again, we're moving to a place where pack sales are going to work in that way and be gated by time. I think it would make a lot of sense if the reward cards were also. So let me know what your comments below on these on this proposal, this idea of what reward, soulbound reward cards will look like. Let me know if you have any comments or feedback around my view and my comments about how I think this will help or and um, improve what we're getting here for this game. But I'm going to leave it there. So thank you very much for your time and attention and have an amazing day. God bless.